everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today is Pack Battle Day. It is Wednesday. We do it every Wednesday. Average Joe and I go at it. And today we have something very special for you. I'm gonna gonna skip the usual preamble and just show you the uh, the stuff we're opening. It is Jam Packs Wax. That's right. Joe and I both bought a box of this, and uh, we have been waiting for these to arrive for a couple of months now. Finally, they showed up this week, and we thought it is time. So we're going to get into this. We're each going to open a stack of these. There are 24 packs in here, so we're going to open eight packs each on our show and see how we do. As you can see on the box, each box contains one autograph and one relic card on average, and uh, a lot of great vintage cards in here. I love opening this product. You guys always seem to enjoy it, too. So... Uh, I am pretty pumped. I, I've never seen anybody do a uh, pack battle with this product. So I think this is a YouTube first today. Joe and I both opening this. If you like watching me open it, you're going to like watching Joe open it. I can promise you that. And uh, there you go. There's the good stuff. Like I said, we're going to do eight packs each. I'm going to do a, a full stack of this. Get all of these out of here. And uh, do it like that. Close this back up if I can. And there we are. Jam Packs Wax. You can get one of these yourself if you want. They are sometimes available on jampacks.net. Jay packs these by hand. He sorts them and packs them. It takes him a while to do this. And the way that he operates, he takes pre-orders on his site when he's ready to do another batch of these. It uh, only happens a few times a year. And uh, Joe and I were lucky enough to get in on one of those and we both got a box, so here we go. Let's see how we do. I am <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Your job as viewer is to enjoy the show, obviously, and then to let us know in the comments who you think got the best cards today. Check out my video opening Jam Packs Repacked Wax, and check out Joe's video opening the same product. Let us know who you think got the best cards, and uh, they are the winner of the pack battle. We'll get into our first pack here. Very, very exciting to open these. I always have a good time with these. Future Stars card of Beau Bichette, and that's from 2021 Tops there, which is kind of the bane of my existence for the year that they were coming out because they were so hard to read the names. Got uh, Upper Deck 1992 Andre Dawson. Nice to see some vintage here. And then we got a nice card here, Tony Fernandez, Cal Ripken Jr., and Alan Trammell. That is a, a nice combo card there of some great shortstops in the American League at that time. Robbie Alomar and Jim Tomey Stadium Club card there. That's a beauty. Check that out. Really pretty card, Jim Tomey there. I like that one a lot. You can see the back of that different photograph, which I always appreciate when they do that. So a uh, nice 1999 Stadium Club there. Ted Simmons. Great catcher, and towards the end of his career, he played DH and first base in the American League. Beautiful Donruss Elite Frank Thomas card. That's a really nice card. Fantastic pull. like that one quite a lot. And see the back there of that very nice Donruss card. Carlton Fisk on the White Sox there. And we got uh, Hunter Green rookie card from Bowman. Nice to see that one. Pete Rose card. Very nice 1987 Donruss card towards the end of his playing career. He's listed as first base manager on that card. League leaders Canseco card from 1992 Fleer. 1978 Jim Rice. That is a beauty. Look at that. Perfect centering on that card. Wonderful Jim Rice card from 1978. Boy, I like that one a lot. I'm going to set that one up here as a, a real highlight from, from these packs. Nice. Mike Mucina card there from Upper Deck. Card of the Hall of Famer. And Kurt Schilling Somebody who would like to be in the Hall of Fame, but probably will not ever get there. I'm going to leave Mucina on top. Very nice pack. The Jim Rice, probably the highlight, but uh like that Frank Thomas card, too. That's a nice card. And uh, the Jim Tomey is just a, a beautiful card. like adding that to my PC for sure. So now you get a taste. If you've never seen me open this product before, now you get a taste of what these packs are like and why I enjoy them so much as a guy who enjoys the vintage cards. I think it's going to be Joe's first time opening this product. I had to kind of convince him and talk him into it a little bit but uh, once he got on board I think he's super excited about it too so I can't wait to see what he pulls and can't wait to go through the remainder of my stack here and see how I do today 
in my contest versus Average Joe. Let us know what you think in the comments, and you get to choose the winner. It's a Bowman Larry Walker card to start off this pack, and there's a Jose Altuve. We got Dwight Evans, 1991 Upper Deck card there, and an All-Star Ryan Sandberg pulling some nice Cubs cards. And Andre Dawson and a Ryan Sandberg so far, which, you know, that's what Joe would like to do. He's a big Cubs fan. We got Eddie Murray here, a former Oriole there on the Fleer 90 card with the Dodgers. Nice Pee Wee Reese card there from one of the classic sets that Upper Deck did of Hall of Famers. That's a pretty card for sure. Alan Trammell from Leaf. And uh, we got a backwards card here of Cattell Marte, and this is a numbered card. It is an illumination card from Prism. And uh, as you can see, this is numbered here on the back to 175. So that's pretty cool. And usually you do find at least a couple numbered cards in here as well. So I'll prob probably put that up here as well. That's a pretty nice pull for sure. We got Jim Abbott from, what is that, 93 Dunruss, I believe. Nice Jim Abbott card. MVP card of Mariano Rivera. Great pitcher for the Yankees and a Hall of Famer as well. Gary Carter there, one of the greatest catchers of all time in my opinion. Nice triple play Nolan Ryan card. Never complain about pulling Nolan Ryan, that's for sure. George Brett score card from 1990 and a Bregman card. Shout out to Julie Searle, who is a big Alex Bregman fan. I don't know if she has this one, but uh, it's a 2021 Bowman. Go to our next pack here in our battle against Average Joe today. I just enjoy this product so much. You never know what you're going to get out of here. According to Jay, he puts cards in here that go all the way back to like the 20s, which, I mean, I guess he must have some tobacco cards or something that he adds into these. I've never pulled one quite that old, but I have gotten cards from the early 60s and the 50s. We'll see how we do today. Jeff Bagwell there, and a Deion Sanders card when he came up with the Braves, we got Patrick Sandoval, rated rookie there, and another Ryan Sandberg. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Our second Ryan Sandberg card out of three packs. Beautiful Leaf Ricky Henderson card from 1993. That's a nice one. Just a, a beautiful image there, and then you can see him there uh, in the Bay Bridge backdrop. It looks like he's standing in the San Francisco Bay as he swings the bat there. Burt Blylevin, 1984. Tops card there, Bly Levin, and Will Clark. Pretty cool throwback looking card. This was from a set called Fleer Tradition. And uh, always liked these. They kind of reminded me of some of the cards from the early 50s Tops issues. These came out around 2000, I believe. Kirby Puckett, Fleer 1991 Ultra card there, and a Sports Illustrated card of Roger Clemens. We got a pre rookie card of Travis Fryman from the Toledo Mud Hens. Now, when is the last time you've seen that card, much less seen somebody pull it from a pack? And that is what I'm talking about with these Jam Packs wax products. You just never know what you're going to pull out of here. It's pretty awesome. Another Gary Carter for us, 87 Donruss there. And a 1977 World Series card where the Reds, of course, beat the Yankees. The Yankees would go on to do better in the 78 series against the Dodgers, of course. But uh, really a nice 1977 card in wonderful shape. Put that one over here as well. That's a nice older card. Matt Chapman, Stars of the MLB. These back in focus for you to enjoy. And Raffi with the Rangers on the tops card there. That was a nice pack too. Definitely pulled some nice cards out of there. That Travis Fryman is an unusual one. I don't collect him, but that's a pretty cool card. The 84 Bly is nice too. Nothing wrong with that pack. Let's go to our next one and see how we do out of here. Kirby Puckett starts off with his giant, giant bat. <laughs> this is uh, such a cool card. I wish they did more stuff like that on cards where they give players sort of interesting and unusual props. We got Sammy Sosa there on an upper deck reserve card. And Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Fame pitcher there, relief pitcher. Mike Piazza, of course, with the Mets. Greg Maddox, we got another Cubs card out of here. We've gotten a Cubs superstar card out of every pack so far. This box should have gone to Joe. Nice Greg Maddox card. There he is, Bunting. And a Robin Yount card from 1987 tops. Like to see that. Another Cubs card. It is our third Ryan Sandberg in four packs. Man, Joe's going to be jealous of this rip. I got a lot of his Cubs players here. That's a nice one from 1994 Fleer. Tops Chrome card, freshman flash rookie card of Luis Robert. That's a pretty card. I have not seen that card before, and that is a very nice one. Nice rookie card there, certainly. 
Gary Carter greets us again, 1984 All-Star card there. These were inserts in rack packs. That was the only way you could get these. Baseball greats from Swell, and it's Eddie Matthews, who is an indeed a baseball great. He is a fantastic third baseman. They're a really good slugger for the Braves for many years. And uh, eventually became a manager for the Braves as well, I would point out. This uh, Swell set was all baseball greats and is a, a pretty neat set, actually. It was one of those that came out in the 80s that uh, is kind of an oddball set. Craig Biggio there. And Juan Gonzalez on the Fleer Ultra card. Cal Ripken Jr. with uh, the All-Star Donruss 1990 card. And here we have a DJ LeMayhew card from, uh, this is, I believe, Archives. Tops Archives from just a year or two ago. Yeah, this is 2023, it looks like. So nice to pull that one as well. Let's go to our next pack. We've reached the halfway point in the stacks. we got four more packs left. See how we do here. we got Jim Tomey again. This one on the Fleer Ultra card. I think I like the Stadium Club card better, but I always do like these Fleer Ultra ones. See what's on the back here. Another nice picture of him. Tony Gwynn on score 1995. Very distinctive card design that year. What is this? This is a card I'm not familiar with, I gotta say. Nice Willie McCovey card. This is an upper deck card. It says UD Decade 1970s. I don't know what this is. Is this an insert or what was this? I really don't know what this card is. That's pretty cool. It looks like it came out from uh, upper deck in the 90s, but I uh, really don't know what that card is. That's a nice one. I, I like that one. That's gonna go on the PC for sure. Benny Santiago there, the big cat. The original big cat, of course, was Johnny Mize, but then uh, Benny Santiago got the nickname. John Smoltz throwing the rosin bag, and it's a studio card, so we're going to check out some things about John Smoltz here. He likes golf and all kinds of music, and his favorite shows are Three's Company and Gilligan's Island. So there you go. Nice Tim Raines rookie card. Check that out. That is a, a very sweet pull. Pretty awesome rookie card to get out of here. Wonderful Rock Raines card there set this up over here as well. That is great. Might have to get out some Orion's card stands if we keep pulling great cards like that. Another Juan Gonzalez there and a Mark McGuire home run milestone card from 1991 Donruss. Get that back in focus so you can enjoy these. And our next card is another Cubs card and it is another Ryan Sandberg. This is nuts. I don't think I've ever opened one of these. I've opened several of these boxes on the channel as some of you longtime viewers will know. I don't think I've ever opened a box where I've gotten so many of one player right off the bat like that. That is nuts. And Joe would have loved that. <laughs> Steve Carlton, 1983 highlight card. I think it's a 1984 card, actually, but a 1983 highlight of Lefty. And then we get another nice Orioles card here, Iron and Steel. And that is uh, Ripken and... Is that Brady Anderson? Yeah, it's Brady Anderson. So there you go. Ripken and Brady Anderson with the... Photoshopped backdrop of Camden Yards there, no question about that. Doc Gooden and a holiday card of Seiya Suzuki, another Cubs player. <laughs> Joe's going to be really have something to say about this. Albert Bell finishes this one off on the Leaf card. Go to our next pack. If you're enjoying this episode, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does great things for the channel, and I certainly appreciate it. As we uh, continue on in this Jam Packs box, Ozzy Smith starts this pack off. On the uh, Fleer Ultra card there. Always like those. Should be a nice uh, picture on the back there indeed. Check that out. We got uh, Randy Johnson. That's a throwback looking card. I think that is, uh, what is that, 61 all-time great set from Fleer is what the design there is mimicking. And even the back mimics that. So that's a pretty cool card. That is a 1999 Fleer card, as I recall. Mike Greenwell Gold Cup card. Greenwell was quite the prospect back in those days, but I never really did what people thought he would. Wow, that is an awesome card. I am delighted to get that. A Josh Gibson National Pastime card. That is a great card for me. Love that player, and that is just an awesome card. Wow, that is a real winner for me. I like that one a lot. Raleigh Fingers card here from Fleer, and Bryce Elder rookie card. Kirk Gibson on the 88 Donruss card for us, and a backwards card. This feels like it's the Mem card. You get one Relic card, Oh, it's the autograph card. It's Mark Burrell, and that is out of 199, it looks like there. So there you go, Mark Burrell. And uh, one of the weaker autograph cards, I have to say. I usually pulls, usually get a Hall of Famer out of here when you get an autograph card or something as a, more of a star. 
than that. But uh, nonetheless, we get Yvonne Rodriguez here and Trot Nixon. Mike Schmidt, one of the all-time great third basemen. And what is this? Tops 205. Wow, I, I don't have many of these cards, I have to say. These mimic one of the old... Uh, well, they kind of mimic the design. I don't know. Mimic's kind of an old uh, card from from the uh, 20s. Uh, but yeah, Vernon Wells there. I really don't have many of those cards. It's neat to get one of those and add it to the collection. Go to our penultimate pack here and see how we do. Got our autograph card, and we'll see if Joe gets his, or maybe he'll get his relic card. We'll find out if you check out his video. Fleer 1994, this a Smoltz card there, another Hall of Famer for us. And Yvonne Rodriguez, second pack in a row where we've gotten Pudge. And uh, Kurt Schilling on the 1990 card. That is, I believe, Comiskey Park, as I was informed just the other day. I couldn't remember what park it was. Uh, it was a Ripken card where he was standing in front of the uh, distinctive scoreboard of Comiskey Park. Barry Bonds and Kevin Mitchell with the Mets. Is that a traded card? Yes, it is. This is from the uh, traded set that came out in 1986. Kevin Mitchell. We got uh, Corey Lee, rookie card there from the Astros, and a Fred McGriff. Nice 1991 Fred McGriff. Trevor Rogers, rookie card on the Mosaic there. Very nice. Tom Seaver with the White Sox, 1985 Donruss, and Craig Biggio, this nice black diamond card of that Hall of Famer. Pretty cool to see that. You can see it has a lot of interesting sort of patterns in the foil there. Definitely like that card, and there he is blowing a bubble on the back of it. Cal Ripken Jr., always like to see those. This is from Score, I believe this is 89, is that right? 89 Score, 88 Score, I'm mistaken. There we got uh, Braves and Indians card. Those guys look like they just woke up or got done, done with a bender or something. I don't know who that is. Was that... Doesn't tell you on the back either. You think it would tell you. I think it's Tommy, but I don't know who the Brave player is. Ryan Klesko? That must be. Yeah, that is Ryan Klesko. All right, well, there you go. Tom Glavin, another Braves player. Got several Braves in that pack. And Gary Sheffield, who some think will one day be in the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he will be or not. He could certainly drive the ball. He's a really powerful hitter, but not sure if he will get in the Hall of Fame. Go to our last pack here. See how we do in our battle today against Average Joe. Always enjoy this product. Got some great cards out of here. Can't wait to see how Joe does with his box. Should be a lot of fun for you guys to watch. Two of us both open this product on the same day. Frank Thomas, beautiful card there. Like that one, I believe that is a 2001 Frank Thomas. It is. John Smoltz on the 91 upper deck. And Hoyt Wilhelm, another sort of uh, legend of the game type release here. This is another upper deck card. Hoyt, Hoyt Wilhelm, the great knuckleball relief pitcher. Origins of the game. And uh, pretty card. Really pretty card. like to see that. Fred McGriff again. Second pack in a row we've seen McGriff. And Cecil Fielder there on the post serial card. Very nice to get that. Gossage and Ryan. Nice combo card there of the Goose and Nolan Ryan. Pretty neat to see that. Well, this is a cool one. Charlie Blackman, and that is a sepia tone card on Topps Chrome. We get Charlie Blackman and his prodigious beard there. Very nice. Those are not numbered or anything, but still a very cool card. Ozzie Smith on the scorecard. Bobby Bond, or Barry Bonds, rather, and Alan Trammell. We got uh, Cattell Marte there on a foil Allen and Ginter card. Cattell Marte looks kind of annoyed. He does not look like he is pleased to be on that card. Or Starling Marte, sorry. Wrong player, Starling Marte there. And Eddie Murray again with the Dodgers. Second time we've seen an Eddie Murray Dodgers card. Bo Bichette rookie card. That is pretty awesome, I have to say. That's a nice card, and I did not have that. It's in the 1971 design, but from Heritage 2020. So I'll set that one up, too. That's a nice card. And Ray Boone finishes off here. This is some sort of a repro-type card from Baseball Archives. One of the early archive sets the tops did. Ray Boone... Of course, the dad of Bob Boone, the uh, great Phillies catcher who went to the World Series. And uh, Ray Boone was in the league for many years, actually. A really good infielder, as I recall. So there you go. These are the, what I think were probably the best pulls that we got. But uh, you can certainly let me know if maybe there was one that uh, I should have paid more attention to in that stack. Let me know in the comments, of course. And let us know who you think got the best cards today, me or Average Joe. Be very curious to hear your opinions about that. As always, I enjoyed this product, and uh, just a lot of fun to get into this, and I hope Joe enjoyed his. Can't wait to watch his video 
look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow for anything can happen day. I do not know what's going to happen, but that's kind of the fun of it. Figure it out tomorrow and uh, we'll all find out together. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I'll see you back here soon. As always, happy collecting.